In this video, we'll look at the Trimble Warehouse, which contains millions of SketchUp models. There are several ways to access it. You have icons in the large tool set, and then the warehouses for both models and extensions have their own toolbar. Click View, Toolbars, and then click on Warehouse. You can access the Model Warehouse through the Components tab and search for whatever you're looking for. You'll get thousands of results to arrow through. And if you click on any of these, in this case, a collection has been brought up all by the same person and I can click on a specific one to download. If I click on the house icon, it tells me all the components that are in this particular model. I'm going to undo and show you a direct way to get to the warehouse. Just click on 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com and you'll go directly to it. So this is the home page and it lands you on Discover What's New. A lot of the models display with ambient occlusion, which is a display that makes them look more realistic. On this tab, you can see what you have uploaded yourself and you can create a profile here. There are several ways to search. One is by typing. Another is by doing an image search. So if you have a photo of something you'd like to see if there's a model of, drag that photo here and it brings up a whole bunch of models that look like it. You can also type. And there are filters. These are all means by which you can make your search more meaningful. Polygon count is useful because that way you can filter for low polygon models if that's what you want. And you can search for models or catalogs or collections. And you can even click on materials. Relevance lets you find models by popularity, likes, author's name, and more. I've typed house and this is what comes up. If I click on one of them, I can view it in AR. And I can click on this for a 3D preview. This might help me decide if I really want to bother downloading it. This shows me related content, in case this doesn't work for me, one of these might. And I can see any comments left on it. And if I want to download it, these are my choices. And it will download to where any other download goes to on your computer. Now I want you to notice that some of these say live. That's a live component, meaning you can configure it either online or after you've downloaded it. So I'm going to click configure and I have all these navigation tools here and here I will click 
Reset to Default Customize. And this brings up a panel with customization tools. And maybe the Sydney Opera House isn't anything you'll want to customize. But there's all kinds of furniture up here that's also live. So if I click on this, configure live component, then I can adjust any of these features and that might be useful to then download and place in my model. And here's all the model info about it and any relevant links. Here you have a few more options. And here you can upload your own model to share with the community. And that's an overview of the SketchUp Warehouse.